been almost a year since I buried my son. My daughter has been kidnapped. God knows what else. I was foolish enough to think that you might have made some of this bearable. I'm sorry if I bothered you. Craig. Wait. Please. I don't want to leave things like this. Thank you, but I think I've taken enough abuse for one day. I didn't mean to make things worse. I understand why you're so worried about Lucy. My point was just No, I got I... your point. Lucy ran away from her Neanderthal father. I drove her straight into the arms of a criminal. All I meant was that you I didn't was very get... reasonable, you know. I said she could see him, but there were rules. They broke my rules. Now, I may not be father of the year. Hey. I never said you were a bad father. I just said that you never gave Aaron a chance. And you made sure of that. Every time Aaron and Lucy decided to break my rules, there you were helping them. Dodge me, meet in secret behind my back. It wasn't that big a deal, Craig. Look, maybe not to you, but you didn't have to suffer the consequences. I did. The more fun you had championing Romeo and Juliet, the tougher stand I had to take until Lucy decided I was the ogre and Aaron was simply misunderstood. Now she's gone. Thank you for your assistance. I don't, I don't know whether to laugh at you or smack some sense into you. You hated Aaron from the first moment your little princess smiled at him. Don't try and make that my fault. You have no idea what you've done. You have no idea what it's like to be a father raising a daughter. You hardly have an idea what it's like to have a father, since your father's specialty was ignoring you, but now suddenly you're a father-daughter expert? You don't know the first thing about my life. Oh, the trail of men, the schemes, the dreams that died, the child you lost. You think about the choices you've made, the hopes, the, the dreams, the, the mistakes, the failures. And you think about what might have been different if you'd had a father who had just cared for you, who'd made you feel like something, maybe somebody who just held you a little bit if you were scared. Huh? But you don't know because you never had that. You cannot fathom the love I have for my daughter. So stay out of it. <laughs> Carly. Carly, come on. I... Just get out of here. Get out of here. You just leave me alone.